wild times. Dude, just in the U.S. alone, Americans eat over one billion pounds of beef from McDonald's, equating to wow. five and a half million head of cattle. Wow, Jesus. that's insane. Dude, um, speaking. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. No, I was going to change the topic altogether, but um, oh well, I was going to say I was going to say yeah. they're building a huge. Um, uh, fucking lab grown meat thing. Like the biggest one yet that's supposed to be, you know, put like I, and I was thinking about this. It's, you know, it's good for the climate because cows uh, cause a shitload of greenhouse gas emissions. And, um, but dude, like how are, are there food? There's gotta be food lobbies in Washington. This will be like, you know, water and hydrogen, never powering vehicles because the gas lobby, won't allow them to get into the market for whatever reason. Like lab grown meat is going to have a ton of pressure put against it. I feel like from all the cattle farmers and shit. Of course, of course it will. But it's, of course it's, it will. Do you, do you think it's do you think it's a good thing? Should we move towards that or what? I, I, man, I don't know. I mean, we could get real deep on this, but you want my opinion? Yes and no. Yeah. I mean, there's such a, there's a shifting line, right? Cause once you start with that, where does it end? Right. You know, because once, once, once lab grown meat is acceptable, what's wrong with lab grown kids. And, you know, then you start p- selecting for, <laughs> but I'm not even kidding, you know, like you start selecting for this and that, and it's like, where is the line drawn? <laughs> to be sand? clear, I think they're already doing lab grown kids in China nif- for real. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But my point is, it's like one of those things that you're you're opening the door to potentially a lot of issues down the road. Now, that being said, if everybody thought that way always, nothing would ever get accomplished, right? It's like, oh, smartphones are going to rot your brains, which they do, but, you know, we need them now. <laughs> so it's like, you know, I feel like those advancements in technology have to happen. At the same time, and I never understand why this is not more widely spoken about, it's okay to raise cattle. Let me restate that. It is okay to raise cattle. It's how you do it. And do you rotate the crops? And do you rotate the fields? And is it done? Is it monoculture? Or are you doing it with other things? As in, after the cattle are done, then you grow something there. And after that's done, you rotate the crop. Like, there are very, very, very sustainable ways of ranching and farming that are more expensive, that are more difficult. But if you do those you don't have as large problems. And of course, the reason that you have these problems is because of the cost of everything, right? right. And now it's like, oh, well, instead of fix that, you know, it's, it's the same thing as all these billionaires trying to colonize Mars or whatever, right? It's like, instead of fix that, let's just move on to the next thing. And I, I see lab-grown meat very similarly to that. It's like, instead of putting in all this money and outreach and energy and ideas into fixing what's wrong with the beef industry, we're just going to make fake beef over here. And it's like, why? Well, like, that's that's bad. That's not the right thing to do. The right thing to do is take the – because that doesn't fix the problem, by the way. That just does something else while the problem continues. So instead of sure. that, fix the problem is the way I see it. And so that's – you sure. know, I always have a problem the, yeah. with things like that. Here's the other, here's the other thing. The, in, Americans eat 28 billion pounds of beef every year, right? Right. 28 billion pounds. So this Insane. facility that Peter's talking about, it's a giant facility that's being built outside of San Francisco. Their maximum output is 400,000 pounds. So you would need 68,000 of these facilities. Of these labs, right. Right. But to, I mean, to I, even I, produce enough meat for one year. Right. Plus lab grown beef is still not approved by the FDA. But it's right. but the thing is, it's not, it's not that it's going to pro- like replace it right away. It, it's like a big kind of groundbreaking thing because it's the biggest one yet that's being created. And they're going to, I feel like they were saying that this is going to be the one where they kind of sort out all the problems to be able to scale it to a large market. But Forrest, to your, to your issue, I, I would say though, you know, humans are terrible, right? So, <laughs> and, and you kind of pointed that out a little bit, you know, in saying that with, there's a right way to do cattle ranching where it's sustainable but what it really boils down to is it's more expensive. And we all know that humans, you know, are not going to fucking do it because it's more expensive. So that said, if this other way were to come about and this was going to be a, a sustainable way, or even if it's not as sustainable as they're painting it, but it's better than uh, ranching or whatever, would it, would it, would it, 
what would people and and farmers and corporation owners and people who sell meat be, where would they be more likely to to follow the rules and do what's best for the world and the earth and the planet and everything i i would say that it would be better in the lab grown department because they're how are they going to fix the problem with ranching other than getting the cost down you know what i mean Yes, I do know what you mean, but at the same time, don't you think that the system in place to make lab-grown meat can easily just be as corrupt and create its own set of problems? Where is the offset from this? I don't know what it is, but like, are there smokestacks that are polluting the air? You know, is there something like I don't know what the offset right. is, but don't but like the idea that like, oh, now we're growing meat in a lab and it's perfect is clownish. You know, it's just it's just not going to work that way. It's not as scalable. Yeah. And I'm not saying don't do it. I think it's interesting to see if we could do this. And I think it's amazing groundbreaking science that we're putting, that we're learning whether or not we can actually grow consumable tissue in a lab. But why do that? And again, it just goes back to me being a bit of a tree hugger at the end of the day. But why do that when instead you can fix the problem? Because to Patrick's point about scalability, it, does, it doesn't replace anything. It's not like they're going to be like, yep, we're lab-growing meat. It's a step in the right direction. Buy ranchers, like, that's never going to happen. McDonald's isn't going to start buying $250 per pound lab-grown meat. You know, like, that's not going to happen. And I'm making all well, those think, numbers I up, I think of you're course, right. But, it's, I think it's going to come know. down to cost either way. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it's going to be. If they can make lab-grown meat, 50% less and it tastes the same. They're going to do it. I'm too and old. By the way, I'm too old for it. I've, I've come, yeah. I'm halfway through my life. Probably yeah. more than that. I, I'm, I'm not switching <laughs> to lab grown meat. I, I, I've, I, I want the meat that the earth produced. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And that's yeah. the other thing too. We're, we're all sort of crotchety already and like be, uh, we're over <laughs> right. the hill. You know what I mean? Like there are, there are 20, 20 year olds right now going, fuck yeah, lab grown meat. This is what's up. Good, good. That, that, that's called progress, the progress. You know, that's what, yeah, like that's progress. what we need is those 20. Well, I was going to say progression, Dude. but um, we need that. Wild time. So if you want more behind the scenes stuff, stuff that we cannot show on YouTube, Darwin Awards, video breakdowns and reviews, check out the Patreon. It's full of hours and hours of incredible exclusive content, stuff that you guys are going to love. Swipe up, click the link, do the thing, come and hang out on Patreon. See you guys there.